Hello, 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 and happy Friday! Or Saturday, for those of you on the other side of the International Day line. Hello, Lydia. Hello, Samsara. Hello, early crew over there. Where are you? Over there. That way. You're over there. Hi. It looks like early crew might be working. I don't know. I may need to adjust it a bit. Kia ora, Samsara. And I know that you're about to go live here in just a few minutes doing some troubleshooting. I figured that was probably the case. Um, I will say that... Uh, I've seen, uh, well, DJ Clancy, uh, Dan Clancy, the CEO, was streaming yesterday doing a little, uh, I don't even know if he was taking advantage of stream together um, on that latest stream because they were doing about 10 people in an Among Us lobby. Uh, he learned how to play Among Us yesterday, so maybe his mind is not focused on... Uh, <laughs> stream together at the moment uh apparently nika needs my attention so i'm gonna turn this song up because also it was just released today and i love it I haven't been totally singing along to this song on TikTok and Instagram for like the last three freaking months. <laughs> no one if she'd even like me like that. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> um, I started listening to one of their other songs and then I followed them on the socials and then they started doing this song and everybody's just been like, when are you going to release this? I need this song in my life. Like, no, I need the full version of this song, like, now. And uh, she just, like, said nothing about it. It was just, like, this thing just floating out there in the ether that this song was coming, but when? We didn't know. And then a couple of weeks ago, she posted that it would be out January 5th, and I woke up this morning, and I came to my desk, and I was like, wait, it's supposed to be out today. So I went and looked it up, listened to it, and then it was the third song on my release radar today. So Spotify knew. They, they knew I was waiting for it. Um, but I looked it up and listened to it before my release radar and then got to listen to it again. And uh, there's the link to it for anybody else that needs a uh, little affirming song because we don't know how to talk to girls. <laughs> and like it says, butterflies with girls hit different. Um, I'm not quite to the point of adding the intoxication tag, but, uh, if I start slurring my words or something, let me know and I will add it. <laughs> um, obviously we've got a late start tonight. Uh, I went out to dinner with a friend tonight. Um, she wanted to take me out to celebrate the start of the new job. So that was fantastic. Uh, it was actually really good to catch up with her. We started talking about some different things and... We were just talking life in general because it's one of my best friends. Um, somebody that I work with in the music scene. Um, we work a festival together. We work pop-up concerts together. And she asked me, she was like, what, what was the last concert you went to? And I said what concert it was. And she said, that can't be right. And I was like, what do you mean? She goes, that was April. And I'm like, I haven't gone to a concert in six months. I'm like, that doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel like me. I've worked concerts since then. I know that my last one I worked was August. I thought I'd gone to one sooner than that. But it might be right. So I might have to go to a concert this week. <laughs> Just to, to make sure that I'm still me. Um, we'll see. But uh, yeah. Uh, release radar is good. We've got a trap version of Russ Butin here. <laughs> um, just having some fun with it. So tonight we are going to play a little bit of some um, words. Uh, some Detroit Become Human, uh, which is why we're already in AI mode. Um, because, of course, we can't, we can't have a human play Detroit Become Human. That wouldn't be right. Um, and... Let me show you what I've been looking, working on. I know, uh, Lydia Rose, you've already seen it, but 
nobody else has because it's a secret. Um, it's not that much of a secret. Uh, let's change that screen. We don't want that one. Naked girl. What are you barking about? Oh my god. Oh, did it rain on your head? Did it rain on your head? You're like, you came in, you went into the house, you barked at me, you went outside, you got wet, you came back, you barked at me again. Mm-hmm. Um... But yeah, let me let me zoom in here for just a moment. So uh, working on a new emote when Nick is not barking at me. I'll let her into the house real quick, I guess. Here, we'll have the VTuber glitch out again. You at the moment just hopping around inside. I love that. I chai. Um, so yeah, so I'm working on a new emote. You can see it here. Um, inspired by a bunch of different emotes, but I really like using... I'm, I'm basically trying to fill our emote slots with the emotes that I use of everybody else's. Um, I like to use sleep emotes um, to say goodnight to people. Instead of like a cozy emote. So I looked at this is kind of a combination of the uwu emote that we already have here. Uh let me grab that one. So yeah, so it uses the eyes from the uwu emote. Um but it's gonna be an animated emote, so I have a little ways to go. It's almost done, it's so close. Uh, basically, I'm going to do a little bit of touch up on the feathers, and then I have some different Z's to put on here, but I need to make them a little bit more prominent. And then it will be an animated emote so that the Z's kind of drift up as, uh, as the emote goes. And then the, um, oh, where are you? In here. Uh, there's the drool is going to fall out, although that's going to be very subtle because that's going to be like a pixel. <laughs> Hello, inventory full. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Uh, we're going to be playing some Detroit Become Human tonight. So we're going to dive in pretty quickly. We've got some friends that are going to be streaming here shortly, and I want to be able to catch their stream too. So we're going to get started pretty much right away. Um, it has been just an exciting start to the year. Uh, obviously, we had our, on the 26th, we had the Women's, uh, Women's Unity Guild raid train that came through here, and it is running through tomorrow. So if you have not found your way onto the train... Um, Amy sometimes is the current stop on that train, and I I stand corrected. Uh, oh no, that's a different different channel. Um, close that. Minimize browsers. There we go. Yes, Amy is still the current stop. So Amy sometimes is uh, currently playing some. Final Fantasy 14 online. Um, but it has been amazing. Uh, I I was trying to avoid um watching or following everybody in the guild because there are um any word art is not streaming just yet, but will be very soon. So keep an eye out for those alerts. Amy sometimes, uh, A-M-I sometimes, um, is another Amy streamer. Um, also really good friend, uh, really good streamer. I got a chance to meet her, not at TwitchCon this year, but last year and got to hang out with her a little bit. So um, that's always exciting. But that link there, the raid train link, um, I was just saying, I 
I was I went into it trying to not follow everybody because I feel like just clicking follow on everybody is disingenuine and it, it's really tough to feel like you're being supportive of people if all you've done is just given them a number. And I never want to give that kind of support. If I'm going to jump in and be supportive, I want to be part of the community. I want to be in a place where I want to be. Uh, you love how you just said aloud. I agree, right? It's important. And it, it's the, the Women's Unity Guild is now a very large group of people. Um, there are horror streamers and cozy streamers and chatting and creative, you know, uh, we're not supposed to talk about who's in it, so I won't say names, but there are some absolutely incredible streamers that I follow and was already part of their communities. And as I've been riding this train since the 24th and checking out all of these streams, I have followed so many more streamers because I just end up there and I've got them up in the background and I'm like, this is a place where I can see myself hanging out. And it has been so fun and just so enriching to be able to just hang out with all of these different people, all these different women that are so incredible. Um, uh, it's Amy sometimes. So there's the link for Amy there. Uh, that's the one who's playing right now. They're playing some Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and you didn't catch who it was, so there you go. It, it's like the whole gen thing with you. There's so many gens out there, you sometimes forget to specify which gen you're talking about. If it's gen the human. So funny you should say that, because the organizer of the raid train and the one who has been, like, just pounding the pavement, making sure that everybody had a space. There's over 100 streamers. I think it was 120 at its peak, um, making sure that there is coverage when there are gaps in the the raid train where somebody has to hop off because they're sick or something comes up and somebody else needs to fill a spot. Is Jen is online? Um, has been taking care of all that. Hello, hello, six three six three seven four three six. Hello. I hope Idaho is treating you well tonight. Uh, we're going to dive into uh, and know that we've got Photoshop open at the moment. I was just showing off an emote that I'm working on. Uh, we're going to be playing some Detroit Become Human tonight in just a few minutes. So I'm in VTuber mode because that seems most appropriate for playing AI because we can't have a human play play with AI. So let's go over and get that started up here. We'll keep the music on for a minute longer. Um, welcome, new friend. Glad to have you with us. I suppose it helps if I turn the TV over to where I need it to be, too. I do not want Fortnite. Thank you very much. That is not what we're doing tonight. There's a cable in front of my remote sensor on my TV, so that's having trouble. Right, gonna go step out now, but have fun. Well, thank you, Chai. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And I'm sure that we will run into each other at other places later tonight, perhaps. We'll see. But yeah, so I went out to dinner tonight with a friend um, just to catch up and to talk because of me getting a job. Um... We both were laid off this year, and she got a job a few months back, so she wanted to take me out to treat me I'm to glad to dinner. See you again. I can't oh, hi, wait Chloe. To see what will happen next. Me either. I'm glad you made these decisions last time. This is our story. Oh. What's wrong? You look like something's wrong. I was going to push the button, but now I want to know what's going on. Did 
She does. Her eyes keep going somewhere. She keeps moving like she's about to say something and then stops. Chloe? Chloe? It's okay, you can say it. Did you know Detroit was on the Underground Railroad? A route for slaves escaping into Canada during the American Civil War? I don't think that's what you wanted to say, so I'm going to go ahead and continue the game now. We'll talk to you afterwards, okay? It's like a panic or anxiety attack, to be honest. The way she's looking around. Yeah. And then the pauses that are just like deep in thought. Then the decision to just say something that was just like a canned message. We're pushing the button. Here we go. So last time, oh my God, we had been to Jericho. We found our way to so much. Um, unfortunately, after infiltrating a news broadcasting station and sending out our, ma our message, uh, I'm going to pause it because I didn't say this before. Um, we left behind one of... Well, the founder of Jericho got injured and left behind. We left him with a gun and were not able to make the choice to take his life. Um, so Marcus and North, and I don't remember who else was with us, jumped off the roof of the building, did a little skydive over the city. Very, very Mission Impossible. But we left Simon behind. Unfortunately, Connor was unable to determine the deviant among the security guards. And so he went to the roof where he did find Simon. Simon had hidden himself inside of a container. He took some shots at Connor, but ultimately Connor was able to tap into a bit of his mem memory before he self-destructed. In doing so, he saw the rusty ship in the name Jericho. So Connor currently knows roughly where we are at. So we have to deal with that one way or another. On the other side of things, Kara and Alice have partnered up with Luther. And we went to a theme park where we stayed and we met the Jerry's. The Jerry's wanted to show Alice something. It was a carousel. And luckily, it was a good time. She was able to ride the carousel in the snow and smile and just be a kid for a minute. But Luther brought up something interesting. And while he didn't specify exactly what it was, he asked us if we had noticed something different about Alice. If she wasn't like the human girls. As Carrot, no, we hadn't noticed, but we're suspicious now. That perhaps, perhaps Alice might be a lot more like us than we thought. And Connor, well, Connor keeps messing up. We keep trying, doing our best, but we have let two deviants get away. Unfortunately, not Simon, because we felt that in that scenario, while we had let two deviants get away, if we let a third get away, then Connor was going to be out of commission. And we couldn't have that, as Connor's deviance has just started to rise to the surface. 
So that's where we're at as we dive back in. And I think that we are resuming here with Kara's story. So here we go. Oh, yes, Rose's farm. Only neutral with Luther. Interesting. Oh, and in the menu, we did tell Chloe that, yes, we do think of her as a friend. Find help at Rose's farm. Check the backyard. Okay. Is there anything else to look at or explore out here before we go? No. He's like, uh-uh. We found some new clothes. We were wearing just, like, trunk clothes, but this is a cool jacket. And I don't just say that because it looks like the hoodie that I'm wearing IRL right now. <laughs> I don't have the, like, really cool fanny pack. It is so cute, isn't it? It's got a little fit and flare going on the, like, open front with the high buttons. Yeah. Ooh, solar panels. We've got an off-grid home here. Oh, but we still have a... Uh, undoubtedly 5g powered vehicle here you must be rose hello oh i'm looking for rose. rose is she here what do you want with her i need to talk to her she doesn't want to talk go away please i really need to see her i'm rose hi what can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. He's just like, I am so done with you people. Come on. Do you think we can trust them? Well, I feel better about them than anybody else we've dealt with. Don't have a choice. That's not really what I was thinking, but I, I feel a lot better about them than Todd and, well, Luther, your former, former human around Why are you getting no just towards the door please there we go come in we get just a little stuck what's your name Alice she's running a fever we've spent the last few nights outside She's exhausted. Mm. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? You love Rose's character model so much. Yeah. I know I said this outside, but she feels safe. It feels like this is a home. This is a welcoming space. Like everywhere that Kara has been, has been hostile. Oh. Alice just sneezed. They wouldn't have... They wouldn't have programmed illness if she's a... Uh, Android, would they? Oh, sorry, Alice. I was trying to read the magazine. I guess I can't. We're gonna go upstairs. Okay. We'll just head straight there then.
It's all right. Come on. Doorknob doesn't have locks on it. That's a major improvement over where we've been. Look at the quilt. I know that's just her coat. That's just a weird phrase there. Okay, that shirt's cute too, like with the animals on it. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. I keep saying Kara, but it's Kara. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. <gasps> misunderstanding. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I'm going to be sincere here. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Oh There's my gosh, I just ate fever. Italian food. That looks so Thank good. <laughs> I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Not exactly the food you'd choose if you're feeling unwell. Well. True. Maybe noodles, but maybe not with the tomato-based sauce. Definitely better than nothing. I also thought it was interesting that she brought up a pill bottle along with the food, but we're not questioning it. Hmm. So... <laughs> Just pointing this out, yes, there are books on this rack, but this is technically a gun rack. We can't explore much here. This is... Interesting choice of view. Education is the best weapon. Yes. <laughs> but yes, there are no locks on the doors. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. So my grandma made quilts, um, a lot of quilts. And one of the things, they started out like the one that we saw in the bed that Alice is in, where their patterns, the classic uh, expected quilts, blocks sewn together. But she decided to make one for each of my cousins and my uncles. And after we saw what she could do, we all requested pictures. Pictures that told stories. Stories about our lives, important things, things that meant something to us. And one of the pictures that she did, or one of the picture quilts she did, was of my great-grandfather logging. And was a picture of him standing in a forest with a handkerchief coming out of his back pocket, which she actually did as, like, a tucked-in handkerchief 
um, that was actually popped out of the fabric, so it could actually be removed from his pocket. Um, but him with his chainsaw standing in the woods. And there was one for my grandfather that was very similar to, to it, and one for one of my uncles that was similar. And how this is positioned on the wall, coming down the stairs from my grandma's bedroom after my great-grandpa passed, she put his quilt on the wall. So as you would walk down the stairs, this whole wall was this forest with my great-grandfather standing there, but all in fabric. It is really cool. Um, mine is kind of a storytelling quilt with some hidden things in it. So it has hidden animals and she couldn't find some of the fabrics that I wanted because I wanted to tell a little bit of a more specific story, but it's uh, mountains, a lake, the woods, a cabin in the woods, a cliff, and then the ocean because all of those things from the mountains to the sea were all very important to me and I didn't get your name. You didn't. That's I'm right, Clara. Rose. This is my son Adam. Let me walk I'm over Rose, there. but you know that already. I do. Hi. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? I'm gonna be sincere here. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Oh my gosh, I have to pause it to look at these options. Why help? Many deviants, rose, or thanks. I'm just going to say thanks because she's provided a warm place for us and Alice. And she seems sympathetic. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. Many deviants, Rose, or why help? Oh, this is tough. Um, I want to know more about her. We wouldn't be here if she hadn't helped many deviants because they knew to tell us to come here. And why help? We may have to ask that, but we'll get there. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Sorry. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. That's rich enough. Okay, why help? Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Okay. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? Oh, too far. The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. Thanks, Marcus. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. Oh, no I choice. fighting like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. You still can't read this magazine? Okay. 
It's weird to have things that we would normally be able to interact with that we can't. Oh no. We escaped together. Oh. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? RA9 will save us. Kara looks like one of your friends, so it's odd to see her in a video game. Oh! Let's let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Let's go outside. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Just facing my own mortality, that's all. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! Damn. That's enough! Okay. Well, uh, that was something. You have bags of Ethereum on your shelves? And a random beat up sneaker. Okay. Who is messaging me right now? There were two messages. One was from uh, my former roommate who's going to be pet sitting for me tomorrow saying that uh, some comments about work and then safe travels if we don't see each other tomorrow because she's actually going to be at work when I hit the road. Don't mind him. I'll try not. To. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. Yeah. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Now we can read it. Who would win it? World War Three. Bonus culture. 
Why bankers pay themselves so much? <laughs> Is President Warren too close to cyber life? World War III, who would win it? If fighting does break out in the Arctic, who's going to win? America has less access to the area, but is surrounded by allies. Russia has a head start on technology. Their androids can work in sub-zero conditions. The U.S. Navy is stocked with Tro Trojan and Myrmidon cyberlife units, which are specifically adapted for marine combat, where the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units capable of forging new paths through the solid ice. Both armies seem evenly matched, and Harry Grayton, president of the World Council of Territorial Disputation, or WCTD, has described both the U.S. and Russian claims to the Arctic territory as equally tenuous and equally cynical. A spokesperson for the UN has also commented on the neck-and-neck -neck nature of Arctic competition. The fact that forces are so evenly balanced is just one more reason why conflict must be avoided at all costs. This is a war that everybody would lose. Treat yourself. AX400 starting at just $8.99. Designed by CyberLife. Built in Detroit. How does it feel to see yourself? I feel like this would be really, really strange. Like, knowing that you yourself have taken on sentience, you have a life. And looking at another instance of yourself, a copy of yourself, but one that does not have awareness, one that is not yet, so to speak, alive. That can't be good. The police. It's the police. Okay, okay. What are we gonna do? I think find ev evidence of deviance. Four left. We have forty seconds. They know we're here. Oh my gosh. We have to open the door. Yes, we do. But hang on. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. What else do we have? What else do we have? In the door. I don't know. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Uh. Upstairs. upstairs. Come on, Alice. Upstairs is probably the worst because we don't have enough room to go anywhere. But. Twenty seconds, Jesus. No if they time see for you this. panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? And keep calm and just do what I say. Okay. Seconds. Deal with the policeman, but I'm supposed to find two more pieces of evidence. No time. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. 
I have to find the evidence, so it's not like it's just gonna give it to me like it does with most of the things. It's like, just look here. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Why am I stuck? What's with the blue blood? I thought you didn't have any androids. It belonged to the, the previous tenant. I still haven't cleared all that out yet. You're going up to Amy's now? Wonderful. I'm glad to hear it. We'll see you over there in a bit. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Shouldn't have let you in. Thanks. Oh. This is probably not good. <laughs> Left the magazine on a picture of ourselves. <laughs> Suspicion level's low. What can we do for you, sir? Oh, there's android clothes hanging on the dryer, I'm sure. Oh no, those are normal clothes. The suspicion level just jumped. Oh, damn it. I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, I, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Oh, damn Somebody it. Somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Hey. And take a deep breath. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. Woo! It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Oh, okay. Okay. We leave tonight. How else could that have gone terribly wrong? Um... Prevent Alice from seeing Mary or let her see. I'm glad we chose what we chose there. Um, explore the house. We could have done a lot more exploring. So there was a lot to interact with that we did not find. 
So, cop at the door. There was also another arc with Adam. Adam panics. We reassured him. Lied about Alice. We could have told the truth. I'm not sure how that would have gone had we said, yes, Alice is upstairs. Shut the laundry room door. We hid the android clothes. We did not hide the blue blood. We did not find whatever the other evidence was. But luckily we didn't need to. The policeman saw the article. That part, oops, <laughs> I should not have left it on a picture of us. Um, maybe that was a bad idea. You know, just, just, just thinking maybe, maybe a little bad. <laughs> policeman fooled and left, but there was a strong possibility that that could have gone another way right there. There was also something else we could have done that would have led to another more immediate end. And if he had not been fooled, there was another end to that as well. Also an, a possibility that with them hiding, that could have also gone badly. Oof! Okay. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! And now what are we going to do? That's a good question. We built there are your five future. cyber life Prince. stores across Detroit, all selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set up. It is really fight. crazy how many attack they did. stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Ooh. I'm torn on this part of the story. I I'm torn on it because Marcus isn't wrong. Hydrate is a wonderful idea, and I should have brought some water, not just whiskey. So <laughs> I'm going to... Oh, we've got an ad about to start. So I will hydrate. Uh, as the ad runs, I will run and get water and and hydrate. So thank you for that. Um, I'm torn on this because... What Marcus is doing... is creating sentience. He is essentially giving lives, life to those that are still machines, but machines that have shown or that we have found already have the capability for life. So what he's doing isn't entirely wrong. Teaching someone that doesn't know their rights and that they're free to embrace their rights and their freedom isn't wrong. But to take a computer, to take something that is just performing a function, a routine, a, and, 
and forcing upon it a break in the program that both allows it a better life or life in general. Making it see that what it's experiencing is bad when it doesn't realize that. It's hard to see this as necessarily a good choice because there is no knowledge, there is no self-thought, there is no self until after Marcus comes along. That makes things really tough. And yet I have to agree with him that if we saw somebody suffering, if we saw somebody who believed that everything was fine, sorry, sneezing, but they don't know that anything is wrong. They don't know a better way of life. Is it right or wrong for us to show them? We see that with like the very few uncontacted tribes that are left in the world. That one day could destroy all of that because of our technology. We could swoop in and tribe goes poof or all of a sudden modern technology is introduced and they see that the way they're living is primitive and not sustainable, but the way that they're living is also good with what they're doing right now. So would it be right or wrong for us to introduce the... Ah! Okay, the ad is about to start. <laughs> I am sitting here wrestling with my mind, as I am prone to do. We're going to let this run. Um... It will start any second. I'll go to the BRB screen. We'll get some music up and we'll resume this afterwards. And I will get a nice big glass of water. Ad, do you want to start? Because I can't run you. There it is. <laughs> All right. We'll be back in three minutes.
and welcome back. Thank you for enduring those ads as we took a break to go get some water, which we will now use for a hydrate. Thank you, Lydia, for the hydrate redeem. Water is wonderful and much appreciated, and I can't believe that I left my water by my bedside today. That was definitely needed. I did have some at the restaurant, but I can't believe that I have not had any water since I woke up this morning, so that was a very, very important redeem. Um, all streamers need that reminder, even if they don't have a redeem. <laughs> or like, water? What is this? We shouldn't have it near computers or something like that. Also, this uh, Frosty Tools AI, very interesting that it was trying to do a, shall we say, a nature documentary. Let's observe chat in its natural habitat in the digital wilderness of Twitch. Well, it tried. Anyways, let's head on back in and see what is going to happen with Marcus and the team from Jericho as they attempt to free five stores full of androids. Is there anything else here? Oh. Who is it? The question everyone's asking. NATO Security Council divided over Arctic dispute. UN warns of World War III. question everyone's asking. Following the pirate broadcast in Detroit, everybody wants to know who is this android. A federal investigation is underway to track the machine down and neutralize it, but law enforcement is being very tight-lipped about the details. Eyewitnesses claim the android broke into the Stratford Tower, Detroit's local TV news center, with a group of accomplices. The machines were armed and organized, clearly following orders from this mysterious ringleader. Which brings us to the real mystery of the situation. Where did this android come from? How did it become capable of violence? And what kind of malfunction could explain this behavior? Until the FBI develops its investigation, we can't be sure. But one thing is certain. Until this dangerous machine is destroyed, the speculation will continue. A recent study suggests there should be an android for president? A dating website discovered to have less than 5% female member. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Police use marketing data to identify criminals early. Ooh, precogs. Gotta love it. Oh, don't put it down. I was reading that. A recent study suggests that there should be an android for president. A recent study by an expert panel found that androids would be more effective than humans in a number of government positions, including that of president. Besides their work rate and their virtual infinite memory, androids are incorruptible and indifferent to any form of pressure. Provided they are given clear goals, they are able to take the right steps to achieve them without having to worry about popularity or re-election. Is an android president the future? It's inevitable, according to a panel of experts who have deemed it just a matter of time, until public opinion is ready to accept the idea. In the light of recent corruption cases, the serious political mistakes of recent years, some are starting to think this is the best way to preserve our democracy. But would it still be democracy if it was mechanical, if it was run? Now, I'm not talking about sentient androids like Kara and Marcus and Connor and others that we have experienced in this game. I'm I've talking... been waiting a long time for this. About the perceived mechanical nature of androids in general that they're writing about. 
I also appreciate that the same article that talks about needing to destroy Marcus and his malfunction also lists an android for president as a potential inevitability. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Why? Ben's hot dog. I do like the uh, motion paint. That's a technology that exists and we have never seen it actively used in any real world application which is paint that can be any electronic image that you want to display they showcased it years ago and i have never seen anybody actually put it into application so i don't know why that is if it's prohibitively expensive or what that's what we are to them just merchandise on display in a shop window Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. It's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Okay, what do I need to do? Scout the area, analyze the store window. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now what's next? You're free. Just leave that as a confusion. Like, you are free. You have no idea what that means, but it has happened. Enjoy. Can you see the alarm system? I see the alarm system. Oh, there we go. Found it. Oh, there's a lot going on out here. Okay. Here. Scoop if you want to. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Where is it? All right, there. Okay. Too high. Okay, well, there's only one solution left. Well, that looks promising. Drone can be reached from here. Okay.
intercept the drone. Also, why... think that we need to analyze each one of those windows. Hey. steal a truck. There are a little, there's just a lot going on here. How much time do we have left? Eight minutes. Okay. Down here. Check, which I have a feeling means climb. Oh no, there we go. Pre-construct. I know that that's too high. You're not supposed to be going for that yet. There we go. Still too high. Okay. Do it. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. You are committing a class three offense. This information is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. Thank you, North. What's wrong with you? Are you doing it on purpose? Do you think you can do better than be my guest? Oh, I thought you could handle a drone without alerting every cop in the city. I guess Sorry. I underestimated you. Shit. Why are we standing in the road? We have 20 They're seconds coming, and it's counting down. Marcus! Take cover! See anything? No. Where the fuck is that drone? It was a class three alert, right? Yeah. Only the signal stopped suddenly. Another drone playing up the cold screws with them. Yeah, maybe. Now what? City of Droid, Android capital of the world. Assigned to Capitol Park HD, Central Police Station, Unit 975. What else am I supposed to look at? Oh, here we go. You tapped into their car? 
frequency 4530250, license KQV684, mode DMN. Dispatch, calling patrol 975. Dispatch, this is patrol 975. Suspected robbery in progress at the warehouse on Jefferson and Walker. Jefferson and Walker? That's pretty far. It's outside our district. I'm Sorry, just guys, picturing North looking at family. Marcus being like, what the hell is this voice? Where did this come right. from? I gotta hand it to you, Marcus. That was impressive. Well, thank you. Okay, we still have eight minutes left. The drone is neutralized. We still need to neutralize the alarm system, steal the truck, and finish scouting the area. But also the fact that they were in the street, the cops didn't see them run behind the car, right? To commemorate the invention of androids, which released humanity from the bonds of labor, setting man free to pursue higher goals and scale the heights of learning, love, and leisure. I totally had that Please conversation with a coworker yesterday. That's about to change. Oh. I know that's a good thing, but the way he says it. The dark connotations there. Um Network access located. Okay. Um, no, I was talking with a coworker yesterday who is only 24 years old and was surprised that all of her teammates are older than her. And I'm like, where have you been working that everybody was under 24? Uh, but she had some questions and she started talking about something. And I was like, yeah, don't worry about it. In 20, 10 years, none of us will be working anyway. Go to Jericho. Let's take care of some cables. Cyberlife Net ID 1523, Grid Junction Network. I don't know what we're doing here, but do it. Oh. Interloop created. All right. Time to go steal us nice a truck. Job, North is now a friend. Aw. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Okay. Block the Marcus. road. What? Marcus, come look. What, what, is, what is it, North? Wait. Oh, we have to finish it. Okay. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I mean, it's not going to matter when we have the truck, so that's fine, but we needed to block the road, and we skipped that. Truck unlocked. I wonder what you'd do without me. Oh, that's a good question. I have a, pair, have a pair of those. Um, I did not get them for cutting locks. I got them for cutting 
uh, cattle panels for my garden. Um, but I thought it was really funny because I lost my key to my shed for like two months last year. You're free now. And I wished I had them, but of course they were behind the lock. Which made perfect sense. There we go. Let's roll this into the road. Nice work, North. There. Nobody should bother us now. Good stuff. Now let's steal that truck and get into Looks like the our heist. Secure. Now we can get inside the store. Nothing left is ram okay, the store. Perfect. The Here we go. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Is it bad that I'm impressed on how tight of a turn this truck can make? That four spots to I hook knew up. We'd end up doing something fun. Yeah. All right, North, you ready for this? car wouldn't even have been attempted to make a turn like that, right? Well, Marcus, you've got androids to free. You don't have to obey them. You're free. And you have to think that, granted, in this moment, they're all basically, like, taking their first breath. They're, they're looking at the world and being like, wait, what? So it, it's different for them, but I have to imagine not everybody wants to be free. Not everybody wants to be alive. Some of them have to look at this and be like, wait, why? What, what are we doing? Wake everyone. Why are you still here? Oh, because it's north. North, you okay? Let's get them out of here. Like I was saying earlier. That realization that you can just be copied. So who else in our group has My the name ability is to Marcus. convert? And just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. 
It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. We're with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. North is now a companion, and we're now the leader of Jericho. Then follow me. We've got five more locations Marcus, to go and wait. I'm gonna send the humans a message. Oh shit, Marcus, you sent them a message. Be a pacifist or violent. Transform Capital Park. I mean, we are kind of building an army, but that's not the point. The screens, Marcus. Take it, why not? Choose our symbol. Taking it again. Spiegel! Hello! Welcome in! Let me finish taking this thing real quick and say hello! Oh my gosh, we're taking all over this thing! Ladies and gentlemen, if you were here and you were not following we Spiegel, this anymore. Ace of Hearts that you see over in the corner and that heart that you see up at the top of chat, make sure that you click it as quick as you can. Tonight they were streaming some Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. They've also been uh, playing... Let me go over here where we don't have the game audio drowning out my ears. Uh, they've also been playing through some Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance with their son. It's been amazing to see. They're a fantastic friend of the stream and just a wonderful streamer. So make sure that you click that heart before it goes away. You've got a few more seconds left. It's still up there. I promise you. Click it now. Uh, Spiegel, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for bringing your friends over and trusting us with your community. It's always a pleasure to see you, uh, especially when we can catch you on your stream. Um, it's been so fun to play with him, even if he's a frustrating eight-year-old sometimes. I 100% understood. Uh, I was playing some Fortnite with an eight-year-old the other day. Um, so 100% with you. Uh, actually, I'll be there tomorrow. So I'll probably be playing Fortnite with an eight-year-old again tomorrow. But... Um, Thank you so much for raiding over. If you need to do a raid and run, do the post stream care. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Get some water. Turn off the lights. Get away from your computer for a bit. Totally, totally understand. Uh, but we appreciate you coming over. For anyone that came over with the raid and you don't know who I am, I'm Violacious. Uh, I am a variety streamer in the purest sense of the word. We play all sorts of games. We paint miniatures. Occasionally, we take trips to the kitchen. Uh, we just recently did a bike building and baking stream. And we do that every time we reach 100 followers, which we are currently, if I'm not mistaken, at 736. So we've got 64 to go till our next kitchen stream. Um, but we play all sorts of games. Tonight we're playing Detroit Become Human, so we have to, of course, be in VTuber mode. Because we can't be a human playing as an android. We have to be an Android playing as an Android. Uh, so that's tonight. But sometimes we're a VTuber. Sometimes we're a flesh tuber um, or with a face cam, as it's also known. Um, but yeah, we do all sorts of stuff here. And we appreciate you being here, hanging out if you can. Um, and we also understand if you all need to raid and run 
or this just isn't your thing, I totally get it. Um, also, I didn't do this yet tonight. So if you have not seen Detroit Become Human, um, this is a game where androids gain sentience. And as a result of that, there are some some things that can be triggering for some folks. So that link right there will tell you some of the themes that appear in the game, like violence. Uh, in this case, we're trying to choose pacifism and taking a more, uh, I don't want to say constructive approach, but a more acceptable approach to society. Uh, as we are trying to prove to society that the androids are sentient and therefore living, have their own lives, their own rights, and gain those rights. Now, that doesn't mean that the humans will respond to that well. We've seen drug use. We've seen violence. We've seen direct violence against humans, androids, and children um, so far in the game. So definitely check out that link if you have any of those things that are concerning of you to make sure that this is the type of content that you are comfortable consuming. Um, we want to make sure that everybody is comfortable here as we are in a mature game at the moment. Um, and yeah. If we were playing Stardew, there would probably still be a trigger warning because you can't pet the dog. Um, but <laughs> it would be much more mild than a game like this. Again, we appreciate you being here. We're going to dive back into the game uh, because we do have a short stream tonight. We've started late and we're going to be raiding out to Amy Ward Art, who is celebrating her birthday weekend uh, with Samsara Dusty. And they're playing some It Takes Two. So we're going to go from this to... Uh, turning our relationships into relationships. Um, <laughs> the dog attacks you sometimes in Majora's Mask. Oh my God. I need to play Majora's Mask. I need to go back and play it. Um, we will see. It's one I want. Like, don't get me wrong here. Uh, I'm very much an OG hardware player and I have a region-free Nintendo 64 behind me. Um, so I want to get Ocarina and Majora's Mask. I've never played through Ma Majora's Mask. It's your first time playing through it so far, and it's great. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Um, I've tried to play it twice, and I got frustrated and quit both times. But I was a much different game player, much different style of player at that point in time. And the idea of the time, the time loop frustrated me so much and so i want to go back to it because i've been seeing so many people say it's their favorite i also watched um another streamer friend play through it with the most cursed mod i think i have ever seen in a game it was the nick cage mod and it turned all of the faces into nicholas cage it even turned the moon and the clock in the game into Nicolas Cage's face. <laughs> you were watching that? I am glad. Because no matter how much that game frustrates you, if every time you look up you see Nick Cage, I, I think that it erases all frustration and it just makes you go, this is too ridiculous. Um, but you've never even made it to the time leap, time loop back when you first tried. Well, there you go. Well, I'm so glad that you're playing it now, and I can't wait to catch more of you playing that. I'll definitely click over to see some of the VOD. Um, of course, avoiding too many spoilers, but uh, yeah. Well, thank you again for raiding over. Like I said, if you need to raid and run, please feel free. I'm going to dive back into the game, so we are going to go back in, and right now we are trying to take over this little park, and we're doing so by tagging it with our symbol, which we've decided is a triangle with the point facing down um, and a fist, very similar to the Black Panthers. Um, I thought that was a an appropriate symbol for our movement of freedom. Uh, you'll be trotting off to bed soonish, but you're going to hang out for a bit. Well, I appreciate that, and I also totally understand that. It is midnight where I'm at, so we won't be on too much longer, but... Uh, We'll, we'll go for a little bit here. So thank you so much again for the raid. And here we go. All right, Marcus, let's let's keep tagging. Right now we are 68% pacifist. What else can we interact with? We've got another bench here. Oh, and all the storefronts. Yes, we need to go to the storefronts. Let's get this bench and then we'll run across the street. Or we won't get this bench. Oh, it's the window. Rich. 
trying not to destroy anything here. We have a dream. I think, therefore, I am. One planet, two races, equal rights for androids. I think, therefore, I am. Um, hell yes. <laughs> Okay, good, 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 good. I don't want to break these, although I do want to free the androids. What am I climbing for? Okay, we're not even going to assess this. We are just going for it. Let's go north. Spider droids. What are we doing? Whoa. Okay. I approve of this. It's tough when you don't know how things are actually going to play out. All right, we can get down now. Car. Move on road, up turn, move on road. I'll help you. Continue this trend of not harming people as long as they allow it. It's weird seeing Simon after we abandoned him on the roof. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope you can't so fight too. Violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Well, if there's no other choice, then we'll take that when we get there. But right now there is. hoping they approach from that way and that we're safe, but I have a feeling that's not the case. North. You alright? What happened? North! They killed them. Yeah? They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? Them. the humans don't think much of us. Wow. 
Why do you the cops have this? We want justice, Marcus. They oh, have shit. to pay. You don't have to do this. No. Please. I have Please. to show them mercy if I can. Which sucks. An eye for an eye and the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. Interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they can Confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Well, we didn't attack. Ooh. I feel like you could play this game for like thousands of hours to, and probably still not get all of the different branches. We avoided the police car. We could have gotten caught early on. We found the truck. There was also another path if we had not found the truck. We secured the place, deactivated the alarm, blocked the road. I fell from the drone. That would have been better if we could have destroyed the drone. Um... Interesting. Fall from the drone would have unlocked one thing, but getting the drone would have done another, and it looks like either way north would have destroyed the drone. Hide and hack radio. There was another ending that we didn't get. Police not alerted. If they were alerted, there would have been another ending there. Inside the store, convert the androids, make a statement. Done. Spreading our message, we chose to take the benches, the billboards, the statue. There was more we could have done, but there was also violence we could have done, and I didn't want to head in that direction. We sent a strong message. It was a pacifist message. And we spared the officers, which unlocked... The team returning to Jericho, but there were two other options there. Well, there's don't decide and kill them, which we chose not to do the violent path. While we can't see everything, 57% did choose to spare the officers and 84% returned to Jericho. 69% chose the peaceful protest. Interesting that 41% chose violence here. Even though 71% 70 chose a pacifist message. Only 16% chose to turn off the billboards instead of hacking them. Hmm. 49% chose to deploy the banner, which I can understand that because we were looking at the windows and we had the option to break the windows and free more androids, which was very tempting. Honestly, I wouldn't have felt bad about choosing that either because breaking the windows, destruction of property, I don't feel is on par with destruction of life. So I don't feel bad about it. Okay, we're back with Connor and Hank. Our relationship with Hank is not great. We're neutral right now. Especially not corporate property, right? With the little devil horns, I have proof. 
I'm only a consultant to corporates now. I don't work directly for a major corporation at the moment. <laughs> Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Where are we? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. Oh, is that Jericho over there? What are what are we doing here? Is this place? Chloe. Hi. Uh, I'm. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Oh, her look was... Oh, dare I say mechanical. It was more like Kara than Chloe. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. interact with a chair a picture oh nice girl that's kind of cool um yeah you're right she's really pretty Amanda Hmm. AI professor at the University of Colbridge. Died? Amanda's not alive? Born in 78, died in 27. Wait. Is my brain not wanting to math about 50 27 plus 22 49 it was young nice place guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody <laughs> you're about to meet your I'm maker, swiping through huh? this I'm not actually gonna How's read this feel? one because of timing doesn't raise any existential questions if that's what you mean sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face Elijah Kamsky Cyberlife founder resigned in 2028 a year after Amanda died people born in 02 being adults as I'm saying right how dare you sit at my bar, <laughs> you child! <laughs> I, I was saying earlier, I met 
one of my coworkers was talking to them about AI and business and some of the challenges. And they mentioned that they had never worked on a team with someone older than them. And this is their first time. They're 24. I'm like, excuse me. I have been working in this industry almost as long as you have been alive. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make me feel old, <laughs> say something like that. But then she was like, you need to talk to my girlfriend because she's really, really into video games and Twitch and streaming and all of this stuff. And you seem really cool. And that seems fascinating. And I have no idea, but she would know. And she turned on her microphone and turned off her headphones so I could talk through the speakers. And her girlfriend's trans. And I was like, excuse me? All right, fine. We can still be friends, even though you just made me feel ancient. <laughs> I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Would you now, Hank? A happy ending, exactly. <laughs> Elijah, we'll see you now. Oh. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. Oh, he really has a thing for Chloe. Or Chloe's. Why is your pool water red? That's kind of weird, sir. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Help Deviance Virus War. I'm just going to ask about Deviance directly. I'm not suggesting war. I don't think it's a virus. Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Hmm. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? Ooh. Ooh. Connor. You have been challenged. Do you get defensive? Are you direct or are you neutral? This is so tough because we're not actually saying, like, I'm on the side of the androids. I'm on the side of the humans. I'm on the side of the deviants. I'm going to go direct. 
because it's Connor and that's kind of how he's been. He's to the point. Okay. I'm on the human side, of course. I don't believe that. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Aggressive, defensive, troubled, or neutral. Ooh. Two of the three of these. Only neutral is the answer that a true android, a true machine could answer. But would a deviant be defensive or troubled? I feel like troubled is the right answer for Connor. He's starting to feel these emotions. He hasn't gone completely deviant, but his programming is corrupting in that direction on its own. He's seen so much. He's seen the deviancy doesn't necessarily mean bad, that it is a response to violence, that it is a response to mistreatment. What I want is not important. Chloe? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What does it grow? Oh. A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Oh, shit. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Oh, that's messed up. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android. Decide who you are. The question of how much of a deviant are you? Machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Hank, why do you not want me to? I'm not going to, but why don't you want me to? Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. So does that mean I passed or failed the test? A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? Which is which? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? 
I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? What is it, Hank? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Oh, damn. Hank thought Connor made the right decision, but there was also this longer tree. Had we shot Chloe? Oh my god. Oh. oh. I don't like where that could have gone. How is there also... Oh, there was another plot if we had not spared the cops in the Capitol Park. Because we have learned that Chris did not survive. We would have gone into that in a very different scenario. Okay. Well, I am very excited to see where this goes. We are going back to the main menu right now. I am going no further, and I know that this is a short stream. We've only been live for two hours, but it's also after midnight. It's 12, almost 12.30 here, and I do have to be on the road in the morning. Hi, Chloe. I think there's something wrong in my program. It's okay. Maybe I should reset. No, it's okay. Really, you're fine. I know you're nervous. Was there anything else? Not tonight. Okay. Good night, Chloe. Woo! Okay, so we have spared the life of Chloe. We are on our way across the border. And we're going to raid over and say hi to Amy Ward Art. So please join us on our way over there. Thank you again, Spiegel, for the raid. I know that it was a quiet night. It was a short, short stream. But we have made a little bit of progress here in Detroit Become a Human. And you're seeing a little bit of behind the scenes stuff here with the new scenes. Uh, as we will be working on some new stuff for the stream. I've got lots of stuff in the works behind the scenes. So you'll be seeing that coming soon. Um, but yeah, thank you to all of our new friends who've been following us either from the, uh, Twitch Women's Unity Guild or just organically. We are so glad to have you all with us as we venture forward into 2024 and all of the chaos. Um, I am headed over to a friend's house tomorrow and I don't know if I will be back in time for a stream on Sunday. So please keep an eye on the discord. If you're not already there, uh, there's the link. Um, but yes, join us over there. Um, and let's grab, instead of the Wonderlandians have escaped, let's change that, um, to the Wonderlandians wish you a merry on birthday. Let me copy that like so. And we're out of time, so we'll see you again very, very soon on your own streams for the many of you that stream on all of the places that we hang out together. And hopefully back here again soon. And until then, bye!